Noam, finally, as we wrap up, I've asked you a lot about what this means for the Middle East, um, this rolling revolution from Tunisia to Egypt, what we're seeing in Jordan, in Yemen, um, and beyond. But what about what these mass protests mean for people in the United States? I think they mean a lot, and I've been trying to hint about that as a doctrine that everything is fine as long as the population is quiet. Uh, that applies in the Middle East, applies in Central America, it applies in the United States. Uh, for the uh, last uh, 30 years, we have had uh, state corporate policies specifically designed, specifically designed, not accidentally, uh, to enrich uh, and empower a tiny sector of the population, uh, one percent, in fact, one-tenth of one percent. Uh, that's the basic source of the extreme inequality. Uh, uh, tax policies, uh, from, from uh, uh, rules of corporate governance, uh, a whole mass of policies have been very explicitly uh, designed to achieve this end, deregulation and so on. Well, for m most of the population, uh, that's meant pretty much stagnation uh, over a long period. Now, people have been getting by by uh, sharply increasing the number of work hours far beyond Europe. Uh, by debt, uh, by uh, asset inflation, like the uh, recent uh, housing bubble. Uh, but those things can't last. And uh, uh, the, uh, as soon as Obama came into office, he came in in the midst of uh, the worst uh, 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 crisis since the Depression. In fact, uh, Ben Bernanke, uh, we know from recent testimony that was released, uh, head of the Fed said it was even worse than the banking crisis in 1929. So there was a real crisis. Uh, who did he pick to uh, patch up the crisis? The people who created it, uh, the Robert Rugen gang, uh, Larry Summers, Timothy Geithner, basically the people who were responsible for the policies that led to the crisis. Uh, and uh, it's not surprising. I mean, his uh, Obama's uh, primary constituency was financial institutions. Uh, they were the core of the funding for his campaign. They expect to be paid back, and they were. Uh, they were paid back by coming out richer and more powerful than they were before the crisis that they created. Uh, meanwhile, the population, uh, much of the population is literally in depression. Uh, if you look at the unemployment figures, uh, the uh, uh, among the, the you know top um, the few percent, there's maybe 10, 20 percent. Uh, unemployment is not particularly high. Uh, in fact, it's rather low. When you go down to the bottom of the income uh, ladder, you know the lower quintiles, uh, unemployment is at depression levels. Uh, in manufacturing industry, it is at the depression levels, and it's different from the depression. In the depression, which I'm old enough to remember, uh, there was it was very severe. My own family is mostly unemployed working class, but there was a sense of hopefulness. Uh, something's going, we can do something. Uh, uh, there's CIO organizing. Uh, there's uh, uh, sit-down strikes that uh, compelled the New Deal measures, which were helpful and hopeful. Uh, and there was a sense that somehow we'll get out of this. Uh, we're in it together. We can work together. We can get out of it. That's not true now. Uh, now there's an, uh, a general atmosphere of uh, uh, hopelessness, despair, anger, and deep irrationality. That's a very dangerous mix. Hatred of uh, uh, foreigners, you know, uh, a mix of uh, 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 attitudes which is uh, volatile and dangerous, quite different from the mood in the Depression. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, But uh, the same governing principle applies. As long as the population is accepts what's going on, uh, is uh, directing their anger against uh, uh, teachers, uh, um, uh, you know, firemen, policemen, pensions, and so on, as long as they're directing their anger there and not against us, the rulers, everything's under control, everything's fine. 
until it erupts. Well, it hasn't erupted here yet, and if it does erupt, it might not be in a constructive uh, direction given uh, the uh, nature of uh, what's happening in the country now. But uh, yes, those uh, Egyptian lessons uh, should be taken to heart. Uh, we can see clearly what people can do under conditions of serious uh, duress and repression far beyond anything that we face, but they're doing it. Uh, if we don't do it, the outcome could be quite ugly. Noam Chomsky, I want to thank you very much for being with us. Uh, Noam, author, institute professor emeritus at MIT, in most recent book, Hopes and Prospects, has written more than 100 books.